Now, this is actually one of the toughest topics I have to talk about, to be honest with you, because forgiveness is easier said than done. To forgive someone is easier said than to. People know they can say it, but to do it, it requires a lot. I know so many people who keep grudges for years to come, and I know one woman who forgave her daughter, who never forgave her daughter, even after she passed away, subhanAllah. The irony of all this is she would pray her five salahs, even pray extras. She would be reading Quran all day, but she never forgave her child. So let's talk about what is forgiveness. Forgiveness is the intentional and voluntary process by which a victim undergoes a change in feelings and attitudes regarding an offense. Let's go of negative emotions such as vengefulness with an increased ability to wish the offender well. There are two types of forgiveness in Islam, and I will talk about them, inshallah. Number one, Allah forgiving us, and number two, a human forgiving us. As believers, we really need both. First off, we do wrong in our relations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we commit sins, and sometimes intentionally and other times unintentionally. Second, we need to ask our sisters and brothers for forgiveness when we do wrong to them. And I'm actually going to start talking about first Allah's forgiveness towards us. Allah has many beautiful names and several of them are related to forgiveness. You see, we're all well aware of Allah's punishment. And yet, a lot of times we still do the wrong thing. However, we're hopeful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us as He is the utmost forgiving. Allah's names and their meanings. Dr. Muzammal Siddiqui explained the five names of Allah related to forgiveness really well. Mashallah tabarakallah. And I will read it to you as what he said. He said, Al-Ghafoor, the most forgiving. This name occurs in the Quran more than 70 times. There are other names from the same root such as Ghafir and Ghafar. The meanings of the Arabic word Ghafara is to cover, to hide, and from it comes the meaning to excuse, to pardon, to remit, and to forgive. God does all these things. In the Quran, it is mentioned that God does not forgive the shirk without repentance, but he may forgive for every other sin, whomsoever he wills. And this is Surah Nisa, Ayah 116. So we must turn to Allah to seek forgiveness.